you look. You, I sounded just like you then. Oh, you all look. <laughs> Except I would have added in. My borders are now primed, and with a few plants from Dee's own garden, we have some new friends in my bed, as it very much were. That is from the garden. Oh, right. Phlox Blue Paradise. OK. Um, and here is Phlox Miranda. Now, it grows up to about here yeah. in the summer, and it has this lovely, luminous kind of pale, mauvey white flowers. Then here is a little Branera, and that wants a companion. That flower wants a companion. Yes, it does. Why it, does it want a well, companion? Well, something it flowers with it, because one it on a plant That's on its it. own, it doesn't make much of a splash. I was imagining it just sing emotionally quite lonely. No, no, <laughs> the <laughs> Brunnera. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not doing the phlox annabelle that you talked about? No, that wasn't a phlox, that was a hydrangea. Of course it and was, just yeah, testing you. Is. Oh, here's the hydrangea <laughs> annabelle. Oh, no. And she is wilting, as you can see. Oh, bless her. Uh, because she was only <laughs> dug up yesterday. We're all wilting a bit, <laughs> we are. And I think we may have to be tough and cut her to there. Or you can leave Poor her. Poor annabelle. See. I know. It's only because it's the shock of being dug up, you see. <laughs> no, but is it really? Uh, yes, oh, that's the only reason, yes. So she wasn't wilting and then she was No, dug no, up. no, she wasn't wilting at all. She's, She's basically having a panic attack. Well, she is. Oh, so, bless as her. would you if you were dug up and transported to another house. Certainly would. <laughs> or garden, rather. <laughs> so. Does stroking help, probably? Uh, um, I shouldn't eat tremendously. Mm, okay. No, I think what would help most would be to be planted. OK. So I've prepared the ground here. Yeah. That's it. I'm not now thinking about. About anything else? Work or anything. Well, you see, you don't. That's what's so good about gardening. You do start thinking of all sorts of very interesting things and having conversations in your mind with rather interesting people you've never met. Who have you had an imaginary conversation with? All sorts of interesting people. Some not no longer with us. Did you water that? Yeah. Right, that is now done. And we've just got one... Is that uh, Not quite yet, right, right. I tell you. You've got a little more to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, we mustn't forget poor traumatised Annabelle. She needs a Prosecco. You've got to firm her in with your feet. So go round in a circle, firming it down. That's it. Welcome to my garden, Annabelle. Right, so are we going to harden our hearts and cut her down to there or leave and see if she perks up? Oh, can we see if she perks yes. up? Yes, but I don't think she will. I think, I think with the loving way I've pressed in... Yeah, she thinks gonna... she's got a chance. Well, I genuinely <laughs> felt a connection with um, planting Annabelle, <laughs> who I was very worried about. And, um, I mean, it's amazing, isn't it, that you're cultivating beautiful things? It is.